Hey guys, it's Story and welcome, welcome. So today's video is going to be another Dollar Tree DIY home decor project and I'm going to be making a chandelier. So here's your sneak peek of what you guys are gonna see. And let's just go ahead and get started. I'm starting out with this white foam board that I found by the office supplies in my Dollar Tree and then seven packages of these mini plastic glasses that I found in the party section. I measured and marked a section of my foam board at 12 and 7 8 inches by 8 inches. I used a box cutter and cut out this section of the foam board. I put a pencil mark in one corner of the foam board marking it at 5 8 of an inch in from both edges. From that marking I added my other markings at 1 and 5 8 inches apart all the way along the edge. I did this until I had five markings along the shorter edge of my foam board. I repeated this on the long side of my foam board until I had eight markings that were also one and five eighths inches apart. I filled in the rest of my foam board piece until I had five rows and eight columns of these markings. Then I took a small screwdriver and punctured a hole through each of the marks. Next, I took one cup at a time and applied some E6000 epoxy to the bottom brim of it and then placed the cup over the first hole. I repeated this putting all of my glasses over all of the holes and then I set this aside to dry. Next I'm going to be using four packages of these LED leaf lights that I found in the seasonal section of my Dollar Tree and then one package of these Sunbeam AA batteries that I found in the hardware section. I removed all of the little leaves from the light bulbs and then I opened the battery pack with a small screwdriver and then placed the batteries in and made sure the lights worked. Next I measured, marked, and cut out two more pieces of foam board that are 12 and 7 eighths inches by 2 inches. On just one piece of the foam board, I laid one of the battery packs from the lights down and traced it out in four different spots. Then I cut those little rectangles out. I also measured, marked, and cut out two more pieces of the foam board that were 8 and 3 eighths inches by 2 inches. Next, I'm going to be using this adhesive diamond wrap that I found in the floral section of my Dollar Tree. I removed the adhesive backing and just laid it on the foam board and it took two packages of the diamond wrap to cover all four of my pieces. I flipped my cups over and I used my hot glue gun to attach the smaller foam board pieces to the sides of the larger foam board piece. I took one of the string lights and slid the battery pack into the rectangle cutout that I'd made earlier. Then I placed one light bulb in each of the holes and I repeated this for all four of my string lights. And you can make this as big as you'd like by just adding more cups and lights. I put the battery packs through the cutouts so it'll be easier to turn the switches on and off later. Next I'm going to be using three of these combination chain locks that I found in the hardware section of my Dollar Tree. I cut the plastic coating off the chain and with pliers I made four strands of chain that are 15 inches long. I applied E6000 epoxy to the end link on one of my chain strands then I just placed it in the corner of my light fixture. I applied more E6000 to the top of the link as well. I repeated this with my other three chain links in the other corners then I let the fixture sit like this so that the epoxy could dry. To hang my chandelier I'm using this pack of silver cup hooks that I found at Walmart for 97 cents. I screwed the four hooks into my ceiling and just hung one chain strand from each hook. And here's one final shot for you guys of how the project turned out. Well, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will link here now the playlist to all of my other Dollar Tree DIY home decor projects. You guys can check those out if you'd like to, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!